invaded my mind and my body. But there's one thing to say and always keep. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? This is DBZ Sim, and it's my first video to my channel. I've gotten lots of suggestions already, I've been advertising a little bit, but I'm mostly doing this just to inform other people who are lost on some things on the game because I have a lot of experience. And yeah, today we're just going to do something simple, a class build. This class is like based on super attacks and kai attacks less uh... less melee and strike supers as you can see my attributes I have 100 on key and 100 on kai blast supers and 37 on stamina usually I put either the last 37 on stamina or health basic attacks and su uh, supers you don't really need basic attacks you could I mean for comboing and whatnot but this is what I use. Yeah, you can switch out between stamina and health. This is a rumor. People say if you have 100 in either of these, your equipment will not affect it. And that is untrue. I'm wearing the 4 star Dragon Ball costume right now, and it gives plus 5 to Kai Blast supers and health. If you have Vegito's clothes, the full set, it's a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say better, it's your choice if you want more health or more key, but gives plus 5 in key and plus 5 in Kai Blast supers. Yeah, there are rumors here, I'll show you right now. If I go and do presets here, as you can see right here, pull up the status. This is me with the armor that boosts my skills, and this is without. As you can see, the blast supers go down a lot, even though I have 100 in my attributes. Now, a lot of people don't know what skills to use, which ultimates are the best. Believe it or not, Raccoon's Ultra Fighting Bomber. It's like a super explosive wave type technique, but it does crazy damage. I've compared it to like Death Ball, Perfect Kamehameha. Super Vanishing Ball. This came out on top with damage on all of them. It's even, I'd say, with the times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha. But I prefer this as like it's more of a super explosive type attack. The enemies don't know what to do. Giant Storm is also pretty good. If you're gonna be one of those the spamming pricks online, I <laughs> I'll recommend using Death Ball because it homes in and that shit is hard to dodge. I use Super Vegeta too to uh, power my Kyle Blast up even a little bit more. The difference a lot of people ask between Super Saiyan 2, Super Vegeta 2, Super Saiyan 2, it affects your attacks, your melee attacks, makes them stronger a lot more. Super Vegeta 2 is focused on Kai attacks, that's why this is recommended if you're going to be using a super attack based uh a super blast based character gravity impact this you get from mentor cell i like using this because when you pull it up and even even if you're getting kai blasted or punched it, it will not affect the super attack it'll go through anyways vanishing ball does great damage super drain i have this on to take stamina when i need it though i don't really have times like that where I need it. I guess you could swap it out for another Kai Blast attack. Maximum charge I use obviously to charge up my key. And explosive rate for the evasive which barely use at all. Anyways guys I'm gonna do an online battle for you to describe the uh the annoyingness and overpoweredness of this uh setup here. I myself don't find it that much fun to use because I like doing combos, getting some punches in, but this is for the people who ask me what's the best uh, Kai Blast build for ranked matches online. I put on death balls, you can see, someone's about to get mad. The thing about the death ball is the homing is crazy, a lot of people don't know how to dodge it, it's actually not that hard, but... If you spam it constantly, eventually 
the opponent will probably trip up, get hit by one, and it's going to do some serious damage. <clears throat> I'll show you guys right now. I would recommend using a female Saiyan and the thinnest build. The reason I say this is because female Saiyans have the strongest Kai have stronger Kai attacks than male Saiyans, and they also have that Super Saiyan, so they can spam more often. And the thin body type, which a lot of people don't know about this body type, the thicker it is, you have stronger melee attacks and strike supers. And if you have a thinner body type, like my character has the thinnest, you have stronger Kai and Kai Blast supers. A lot of people don't know this, so it's really great information if you're going to be uh, making a Kai Blast super character. The height doesn't affect the uh, Kai Blast attacks, but it just affects your speed and your health. So that doesn't matter as much, but this guy doesn't know what's coming here. Oh, we dodged it. He's gonna hit that one of these eventually. They always do. Take them out there. There we go. Nope. Got him. Probably gonna get hate for this because I'm just spamming, but I got ass, so I'm answering. Kind of a tip if you're out of if you're out of stamina and you're just like waiting for it to recover. You can just uh Kaya blast slowly like drift away. That's what I do at least. Oh I thought he'd hit me with that. Alright. Now I'll show you guys gravity impact and why I use it. If he comes up and tries to punch me. As you can see, his punches did nothing, neither did his Kaya blast. The attack still goes through. Pretty overpowered build. If you want to use it online, you can, but <laughs> everyone else hates it when you're f they're fighting against it. That's going to be the class build for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and leave your suggestions. I will be making a video on every suggestion I'm given.